going on folks? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. I'm in my office. I'm never in here. I never film in here, but it's freaking windy outside. I always film outside when it's a little bit windy today. But before today's video gets started, I gotta say huge thanks to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. They are a personal care brand that helps millions of men and women shape each day in a premium, hassle-free way. I hate going to the store and waiting in line to buy overpriced razors that end up irritating my skin. Harry's guarantees a close, comfortable shave with 100% money back guarantee. And that's why I love Harry's. So if you guys at home want to try Harry's for yourself, you can get a trial set for just $3 if you click the link down below and go to harrys.com slash flare. Just three bucks and you get your own trial set. Right here's the starter set that Harry sent me. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys, show you what is inside to get the closest, most comfortable premium shave of your entire life. So you open this guy up. First things first, we've got this. This is the razor and handle itself. This thing right here is a weighted handle with a rubber grip on it for extra comfort and a five blade razor cartridge right here. Next up in the starter set, we've got some shave gel. This is foaming shave gel and it's actually got aloe in it. You guys probably know more than likely, aloe is really good for your skin. It's what you put on your skin after you get a sunburn when your skin's irritated. This stuff has it already built inside to guarantee you comfortable skin post shave. They also sent me this protective cover, travel cover, so that way when you're on the move, it'll protect your blades, make sure they stay razor, razor sharp for a nice clean, close shave. So that also comes in it, as well as they've got some little paperwork in here. It says, hi, this from the owners, Andy and Jeff. They're really awesome dudes. Uh, they basically got fed up with going to the store, just like myself, buying overpriced, terrible razors. So what they did is they bought a factory in Germany and make it themselves and they make the highest end stuff out there. So they've even got some of this, some, they got some tips for you to guarantee you a smooth shave. So they've got all sorts of stuff in here um, that can help you guys out, especially some of you first timers getting into shaving a little bit, teach you how to remove the blade. So that's what came in uh, basically my starter kit here. But like I said, if some of you guys are just getting into shaving or you guys are wily vets, with shaving, getting a nice, clean, close shave. You can get started for just $3. Go support my channel and click the link down in the description. For just three bucks, you can get your own trial set at harrys.com slash flare. If you guys sign up for the trial and decide you like it, you can set up a scheduled delivery uh, for razors that will deliver right to your doorstep. So you can skip the line, you don't have to go to the store, it'll deliver right to your house and you'll be good to go. So click the link down below and join the 10 million people who have tried Harry's for themselves and it's only for $3. Link down below, harrys.com slash flare. Big shout out to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that sponsor my channel that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make content for you guys, make videos, reinvest all the money back into the videos to make better content and you guys are going to see shortly here in the future we've got some really really big projects planned for the channel and it is brands like harry's that partner up with me that allow me to do that so with that being said you guys enjoy the rest of today's video Shoo! what's going on folks well oh god i'm nervous well folks something just happened we were literally me and band were literally driving and we got a little ass on the ground all right donkey down on the ground baby donkey like literally the sack is still on uh, we've got dogs so i don't want to stress her out so we'll just leave them we'll just leave them inside for now I cannot believe this. This was not. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't really want to stress her out, so maybe we don't go in yet. Yeah, no. It's, it's oh my God. Can't walk yet. Look at that. So cute. Look at that. We got a baby donkey finally. I mean, I'm guessing, like, been on the ground for five, ten minutes. Oh, dude, we were up here five minutes ago. Yeah. And. Oh God. Okay. Don't, you're all right, bud. So it's just the sack needs to come off her It's leg. just the sack, yeah. The sack's tangled up on her legs. Which we could, well, let's, let's just see if she can figure it out. I mean, we can go help her, but. Oh my she gosh, looks, looks like <laughs> look at it, look just like Felicia, oh, Felicia, you got a baby. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Hopefully it's a boy. Yeah, I'm hoping it's a boy because uh, as you guys can see, we got another donkey right over there. That is Tiffany. That is a female not related to Felicia. Oh my God. Literally, it's still wet. Yeah, like. That's crazy. I'd never have seen like an animal this no, fresh. No, no. Within five minutes, we caught it within five. We were worried that we were gonna be out of town or gone or something. Within five minutes, we were up here five minutes ago. We literally ran the truck down, grabbed the dogs and ran back. And within that time, the baby popped out. We noticed Felicia was up here, which she's not usually up here by herself. I mean, she's with the donkey, but like normally the other animals are, are with her. Oh, she's about to walk. come on, buddy. If come on, tangled, buddy. I, think she I know. I kind of want to just. Or Felicia's being Felicia's a good mom. Felicia's being a good mom. She's licking licking it off of her, but the sack is still wrapped around that little guy's uh, the ankles. To, like grab it off, or does it normally come off? I feel like it would. It's probably gonna. I mean, if it was like way up on its legs, yeah, I would think it's that just it. On the feet. I feel like it can do it. And I don't really want to like go stress it out yeah, by trying to get to it. Run and fall. But oh my gosh, 
I can't believe we got a baby donkey might on the ground. My new favorite animal. On yeah, the, farm. the new a little ass. Yeah. We got a little ass on the little... farm now. Good job, Tiffany. Tiffany, she, she's guarding Felicia. Yeah. She stayed here. Yeah. Made, that now it makes sense. I've like we drove by and I was like, I've never seen Felicia over here. Yeah. I by herself. I literally said, I was like, what do you think? This baby's be coming out. Yeah. Was like, yeah. Tiffany oh. and they're always next to each other. Oh, oh, I think it got. It, it might have got it off to one, one leg. It's really close. Can come on. That's such a big baby though. I like know, that's crazy. That is that is like a full blown animal. That's yeah. not even a baby. Oh my Male gosh. Or I don't. I can't. I can't tell right now. So the cords obviously. That's, yeah, the umbilical attached, cord's still attached. Which will stay attached for. Yeah, it a might stay attached bit. for a little bit until it comes out. But we will get you guys some closer looks later on today. This is just the initial. We were literally driving. I was like, "Yo, we gotta grab the camera. We gotta film this. I want to give them their time. Give them their space. There's a reason why they're up here. It's because they want to be away from all the other animals. I thought she would have it in the barn. I think it's because there's too many animals. Yeah. And so, she has her own space um, right now. Found the shade. Yep. She found. She literally found the only piece of shade that isn't by the animals. Yeah. Uh, so she'll be taken care of and if and if for some reason we think that we need to separate them um, We do have the other barn with the fence we could throw if honestly if we just threw Tiffany over there yeah. with them They have a little bit of pasture that we had for boots and and uh, Karen at one point So we might separate them if we feel the other animals are being a little, you know, kind of just you know You guys know how Rick is but oh, oh got it off the other foot. Yep. come on. Well, you got one more foot buddy You got one more foot. Come on. You can do it junior. Oh. So Come on, fun. Junior. You can do it. Come on, buddy. Looks pretty healthy. Dude. It does look for pretty healthy. Yeah, soon. literally for coming out of the womb five minutes ago. It's trying to walk right now, so that's good. The baby goats took like forever. Yeah, we, we had some baby goats that didn't really walk. That's a uh, selenium deficiency, which th I mean, this guy might have. It just kind of depends. You know, I, I think straight out the womb, not being able to stand is a fairly normal thing. I'm not a donkey expert, but she's really giving it her he or she, whatever it is, the little ass. He's really giving it a try right now, trying to stand up. Oh my gosh, this is just crazy that we're witnessing this. Yeah. Like. Again, I totally thought we were going to miss it, and all of a sudden, boom, we're going to have a donkey running around. But we literally witnessed, I mean, she hasn't even stood up yet. And that guy's just, that guy's just chilling there. Yeah, their hooves are, the, the hooves are completely developed. It's literally just a little donkey. Oh, oh, you tripped. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Also carry the, all that. Yeah, stuff, all that. All that oh, Felicia, where are you going there, bud? Felicia. She also looks pretty healthy. Yeah, she looks pretty good. good. She's standing up. We'll give her some time. She's bleeding a little bit, but that's, oh, look at her milk sack filled up. Oh, yeah. See behind there? She's got her udders. Have, her right udders have there. developed uh, right behind there, oh, yeah. so I think she'll be she'll be good. Uh, when we got them, we got them ultrasounded. Uh, they they she was already lactating, so I know that the udders itself actually they physically actually work, um, which is good. But oh, the little ass is standing. You guys, I don't think she'll. She might let me get on this side. I'll see how if I can get a little bit closer. Again, I don't want to scare her anything since it's just so new. But I want to give you guys a good look at this little guy. There you go. Now you got a good look at it up close and personal with the little baby. Ah, Felicia! You're such a good mom, Felicia. You guys, it's not to gross you guys out, but you can see there's the sack still attached. A little baby. Just a little baby. I can't see if it's a Blair girl yet. Hi, little buddy. What are you doing, bud? It's crazy. That, that is just like a so baby, crazy. Like a year to walk. Yeah. Like Five minutes. Yeah. Time to walk. Yeah. A human takes a year to walk, and this guy's already jumping out after freaking six minutes. It is also crazy for those of you guys that don't know that dogs are pregnant for 12 months. This has been a year, literally a year in the making for this little guy. So cute. Yeah. He's got the sack wrapped around his leg, yeah, but. We might have to eventually get that off. Try to, we could try pulling that off. Twisted. Yeah. But. Yeah, hey, buddy. The thing is, his umbilical cord is still attached to that. So, like, it's, I don't really know how that works. I don't really feel like cutting that thing. I feel like that's probably not the smartest idea. I know they just kind of fall off. I think it's one of the things you just got to give it a little bit of time but anyways we'll keep you guys updated we don't want to you know bother them too much i want to give you guys a quick little close-up of these guys since they're just hanging out you can kind of see them in the sun now we'll let you know as soon as we do a gender and we are going to do our best to give felicia some time there's not really much water source close to here so if she's up here for more than an hour or two i'll probably go grab a little bin and give it to her if she wants to kind of raise this guy up here for the day then that's totally fine by me um We'll just kind of see. We'll keep you guys updated. Tiffany, we thought you were pregnant. Thank God you're not. So now it's you guys can take care of this little guy. Or if it's a boy, that's your new boyfriend or something like that. What do you think? Oh, 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 you good girl, Felicia. Protective. Protective. <laughs> Felicia just smoked Tiffany. Oh, God, she's pissed. Tiffany, hey, hey. Felicia, she's your bestie, but she don't want you messing with the baby, okay? Yeah, look at her. She's pissed. Yeah. You see her? Felicia, I've never seen Felicia be mad at Tiffany. Right now, they're in a cat fight for a good reason. Oh, yeah, look at her. She's pissed. Tiffany, hey, I appreciate you protecting, but you got to give her some space. Oh, God, this isn't going to be good. Oh, hey, go around the fence. Go around the tree. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go around. Go around. Come on, come on, come on. You're going to get kicked. Oh, God, buddy's trying to stand up. Buddy's trying to stand. Come on, you can do it, Junior. Yeah, he's just dragging a lot. He's got a lot of baggage dragging around, so I don't know. Again, I don't know if you're supposed to really cut it or, I mean, I've always just let it fall off. 
Obviously, if it lasts for more than like a day, I feel like you might want to take the little snips to it. But I might call the vet if for some reason it doesn't come off anytime soon. But either way, this we got the babies. I just want to give you guys, I want to show you guys a little bit and uh, we'll let them kind of calm down and then we'll do some more filming with them later. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, it's been about five minutes and a uh, quick update for you. The sack fell off. We can see it's it's giving it a dangle right over here, including the umbilical cord. Well, I mean, most of it. And not 1000% sure, but I do see two little nipples back there. Um, so I'm assuming it is a female. It's got the same setup as a donkey where they just literally have two sitting back there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say that this is girl. So we've got three female donkeys now and she is now walking good. Tiffany, Tiffany, Felicia, you better give them some space. Felicia, you tell her. You say back up, back up, Tiffany. Hey, I'll pet you if you want. See now they're, they're both starting to walk pretty good now. Look at this. Oh yeah. She's giving it a dangle. She's walking. She's walking. She's so cute. She's just so tiny. Ass. This is a little ass. Banjo's always want a little ass on the farm. Hey, you, there you go. You got a little ass right there. That's a little cutie. She's still struggling to stand a little bit, but we'll give her some time. I don't think there's too much to worry about. Like I said, we had to give our goats selenium when they couldn't walk that great, but a bit, I think a bit, I think it's for like bigger animals, like giraffes and stuff. Like they don't come out the womb walking great just because their leg, they're so awkwardly built like horses and stuff. So I, I would assume they're okay. But again, if it lasts more than a day, I'll be, I'll be calling the vet and get that figured out. But there's your update i said to give you guys an update this is crazy the whole day today is going to be filled with little ass updates figuring out what's going on and uh right now umbilical cord and the sack fell off so she is a free she's free as a bird she is she's killing it right now she just got to find that milk oh did she go under yeah. she just got to find that milk bud reach go to this go to the weast see i think she's trying like how do they know that that is crazy tiffany tiffany give them some space tiffany That's tiffany so tiffany you're gonna get your ass kicked tiffany I feel like we gotta get Tiffany a boyfriend now because I feel like Felicia and the baby are gonna be homies. Yeah. And then like Felicia, oh God, oh rip, oh, oh God. Oh God, she's going to kick her. Get up under there. Get you some of that milk, girl. Come on. You. Oh, rip. Oh, man down. Man down. I couldn't see what I saw under there. All right. Was that me? I couldn't see what I saw. I couldn't tell what I saw. I might have seen a wiener. I couldn't tell. It's tough to see, man. Oh, well, I mean, growing on show. I don't know. I don't want to get in there and start inspecting. I'm not a doctor. I will take a look, but I'll give them some time before I go ahead and do that. Because I don't want to... A pissed off donkey is different than a pissed off goat. You know what I mean? A pissed off goat, it's like, ah, she'll be all right. Felicia, you'd kick my ass. So I don't want to get in there mess with her i'll let her do her thing we can always figure out the gender later we're not too worried but like i said my bet is a female just based off what i saw maybe male goats have little nipples back there too okay i don't i don't know i'm not a, a well that's it we're gonna have a gender reveal party banjo's gonna shoot a thing of tanneride it's gonna explode and catch my whole property on fire too soon is that too soon that yeah, that happened to somebody ripped to that guy anyways that's your update i'll, I'll give him some space we'll leave him alone for a bit and let you know if she starts getting some titty milk or if we end up finding out the gender Rick, you want me to jump on you? Ride Rick. Shoo. Ooh, a little close. Shoo. Well, folks, it's been a couple hours, and the baby's looking good. All the other animals are up here, though. And is she drinking? Is she nursing? Oh, she is. Look at her. Look at her. She's drinking. You drinking that good stuff there, buddy? So oh, yep, yep, our goal. Yep, yep. Oh, she is nursing. There she is. There she goes. Look at her. She's getting that milk. Good job, Felicia. Such a good little mom. She's so cute and fluffy. So here's our goal. We got to get these two. So we have, you guys know, the big enclosure that's kind of divided. Right now, I only, actually, I let nobody on the other side because I'm trying to let the grass grow back. But, oh God. See, Jerry, you back up. Felicia's not happy, which is good. We want her to be protected. We want her to assert her dominance and kick anyone's ass who tries to mess with a baby, which Banjo might have to do. We might have to grab this little ass. You think she's going to go after you? She might. Oh God. What if she, oh God. Okay. That's not too bad. Not too bad. She's getting her back end to you though. She's yeah. making sure that she can give you the old round kick to the gooch, you know, that type thing. Um, but uh, right now our goal, we got to push. I mean, we can push all of them. We just got to make sure these two guys get pushed to the main enclosure. Um, oh God. Oh, get her, Felicia. Get her, Felicia. Get him. Llama. Llama, if you hurt that baby, I will shoot you. I, I'm not even lying. There's a gun in the mule. Right? I won't, I'm not messing around. You bet. If you touch that, I will shoot you. I will shoot you. I'm just letting you guys know. See, now she's going to get stressed. This is what I didn't want to happen, but you can't really help. All the animals. Oh, look at all the animals. Poor Felicia. Okay. All right, Felicia. Just keep pushing. Yeah, look at her. Oh my God. Hey, llama, llama. 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 It's, a, it's, a, it's a donkey. Llama. Llama. It's a donkey. You stop that right now. Doing good though. Felicia's Which, good. They're also moving towards the way yeah, we need to go. Yeah, I say we just try to push. Yeah. Sorry, Felicia. I feel so bad. Carol. Carol, it's okay, Carol. I know everybody's just checking out the new. Hey, sorry. Dale, 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 get back. Get back. I know. Felicia, ain't oh nobody. Goodness. I've never seen this many animals this Look, close. they're all checking. They're all trying to figure out the, what this little ass is doing in here. Who, who brought the new ass? Steve, you're about to get kicked, Steve. Oh, Steve, Steve. No, Steve. Oh, why is it always Steve? It's always Steve. 
Steve. He's always dying out here. Poor Steve got his nuts bitten oh, and he got kicked. Llama, hey, you stop that right now. I know. Jerry, no. Felicia, I'm sorry. I, I don't, I wish I could help, but like, we. the thing is we didn't bring these animals up here, okay? Oh, like, oh, oh God, oh, Banjo just about got murked. <gasps> Banjo, don't get close. Banjo's nuts were almost toast. <gasps> Rip, all your lady friends would have been bummed. All right. Oh, God, Carol just got murked. Felicia, you are, you, oh, see, they're, they're, they're learning. learning. They're yeah. learning. Tiffany's like, oh, hell no. Hey, Rick. Hey, hey. Yeah, no, Rick, no. Rick, you can go over Rick, there. Rick, no. Hey. Rick deserves Poor it. Steve. He got kicked right in the freaking throat. Oh. Poor guy, Rip. Oh, Carol. Carol, no, not Carol, no. Carol, no, Carol, no. I, it's like a painful death. They gotta learn Carol, something. no, oh, God. Eh, eh. Bracing for impact, I'm bracing right now. Poor Carol, get out of there. Hey, I'm sorry, know. Felicia. I, I'm, tr I'm trying to help. Oh, Carol got it to the nose. Carol, I'm sorry. But look, now oh, they say back. Learn. Carol, oh God, Llama, you about to get it twice, Llama. Llama, Llama, didn't learn. Llama. you about to get it again, Llama. All right, this is what animals do in nature. We're not trying to, I, I, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, how can we just, like, Angel, grab the baby and run. I don't know what to do right now. Like, how do you get? Oh, Llama. If I knew that wouldn't happen to me, I would. Yeah, you're gonna get your ass beat though. She's fast too. That's the only like I know you think you're quick, but you're she is fast. I wouldn't grab her. I wouldn't grab I'm her. Gonna pet Tiffany or Felicia. Felicia, you all right, buddy? Oh yeah, no. See when she turns her backside. That's when I go back. You you gotta back up. All right, we gotta give we gotta give him push. Felicia to the west, Felicia. We're gonna put you in your own enclosure where you don't have to worry about them. I know everybody's harassing your your young one, okay? And I I'm not I don't want it. I don't want them to harass your young one, okay? I, I'm trying to help you, but we gotta we gotta head west, Felicia. <sighs> all right, so. We've made we've made ten feet worth of progress here. We've got you know two hundred yards to go, so we're just gonna keep pushing. Felicia, you're all right. It's okay, Felicia. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. She's adorable. You're such a cute little ass. Look at that thing. Oh my god. You gotta get these flies off you though, bud. You're getting you're getting all flies covered on you because you don't have fly spray. Darker than Felicia. She's a little bit. She's darker and fluffier, which I'm sure the fluff will yeah. obviously come and go. But Felicia, you got flies on your face too. I'll, I will I will take care of the fly situation if you just. This is banjo. You are just banjo, 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 banjo. That ain't it. That ain't it. it nah, that ain't it. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to. The problem is Tiffany, uh, the problem is Felicia has not, oh God. Felicia has not had any water or food. Oh God, oh, oh God. Oh, she's gonna kick her own baby. Oh, rip, rip. Oh God, look what you've done. That's not good. That's not good. She bit, okay, so they bite. Yeah. She actually, I think she accidentally kicked her baby. All right, we gotta, we gotta get. How do we do this? How do we do this? Get, I mean. Can no, get all the animals away? I said we can get, just get all the animals away. We just need to go get run down there and get grain. Oh, the baby's fine. Oh, yeah, the, the, baby's the, the baby's fine. Okay, no, I don't want you to think the baby died. Okay, she's fine. She bit Rick though, like bit him by the neck. So I don't. Yeah, baby, you can back. Baby, baby, you can back up away from baby, baby. <laughs> you can stay away from me. So I think if we get I say all let's, let's, away, okay. these might come for the grain too. Let's just walk. Yeah. Everybody will follow us. Let's get let's get everybody away from the yeah. donkeys. Okay, we're tr we're trying, folks. We, that oh, was we, not an idea. Oh, that was not good. Cool. Poor Rick. Rick got bit. The baby accidentally got kicked. I mean, the baby didn't get hit hard, but enough to stun it enough to see. Everybody will come. Okay, this is good. So I don't know how to do this. I mean, we let's get the animals away just to not. Yeah. I don't want to stress the mom out or the baby any more than we have to. I just I'm worried that Felicia won't come down here, and that's where all the food and water is. So we could give her another water. Okay, let's think about this. What if we close this gate? Okay. And just yeah. I mean, there's no shelter, but I mean, she has all the. It's, gr it's not winter. It's she not winter. The and then maybe we just give her a big dish of water and some grain, and some, give her some grain, and she can. We'll give Felicia all this space. Yeah, that's the, work. that's the only like immediate solution I can yeah. think of. So without moving, them. without without moving them maybe give them a few days these guys they'll be fine we can give them a hay bale or something if they need it man felicia she is pissed wow if i knew he was coming this soon i would have Rick, separated you get them. down i would have separated them sooner that's came the idea I, I, we, we thought it was like two weeks out according to the vet which he didn't know i mean he knew it was gonna be close so i was like oh you know within a week or so i'll put her in rick we're not fighting uh but she came accidentally and uh she happened to get born way up there which was good because it, that none of the animals mess with her all day long but it's starting to get dark and we got to make sure that the mama's got food and water there's a lot gets taken out of a mama when she has a baby we learn that with the goats um sometimes you have to give them extra supplements and the fact that she's not even gonna get regular food or water is not good so we're gonna try to get all the animals down back through here these guys aren't following us but we might be able to get some grain going get them to come down here and then if if we can't if we get them down here we should just lock them in and then go work on felicia and see if we can get her to move because we could always take felicia across and then unlock a gate over there and put her back in but what are these pigs doing hey what up wankers how you doing hey what are you doing rick you okay? It's weird the sheep aren't following us. I feel like they're like all in the grain. Maybe once we start scooping, they'll start free. Anyways, we're gonna try to get all the animals down here. Once we do, we're gonna lock them up and then attempt to get Felicia and the baby onto that side. This is, this is more difficult than I expected. I didn't expect it to be this difficult. We're gonna make it happen. We'll figure it out, don't worry. 
Shoo, we got them, folks. Buddy. That was a very tired That took shoe. an hour and a half. That was the most by the tired way. shoe I've ever heard you do. Yeah. Shoo, shoo. Yeah, that was a problem. We got them. We had to literally walk them all the way down, and she didn't kick us. Not no. one time did she try to kick us um, while we were doing it, but we had to take a stick and literally poke her and then kind of push the baby and literally inch, inch by inch, her way down here. Like it literally just took probably an hour to walk them down there. So all those animals are locked up in there. They can't go up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this back off. So this is the grass that they're going to have for the next few days to graze on, and what we can give them a bale. Hey, they also have a lot of good green grass still in this pasture so we're gonna close it off and then let all the big animals go up since there's a lot more animals to feed over there i don't have to get out of bale of hay so what we'll do is we'll shut this fence back up give these guys we'll fill up that tub right there in that pool with some water give them some grain and then all the normal animals can have their normal routine and go up there but these guys will be protected for as long as we think that you know we need now felicia's a really good protector i'll give her that she is a feisty one um i just don't want to stress her out so maybe a week maybe two weeks whenever i feel she's getting comfortable once i feel this little ass is you know kind of surviving on its own just not a little so bit more little. not so little yeah it's just kind of sitting there in a daze not sure what's going on might have a concussion from the mom hitting it but or it drunk off titty milk I it, heard it, that's a thing really i heard so maybe that's a thing drunk off donkey milk i'm not really sure look at it it's literally stay it's kind of like wobbling around it needs some more milk but good news we got felicia she's eating grass we'll give her some grain we'll give her some water life will be good and we will give you guys an update in the morning just to let you know how everything's going so stay tuned Shoo! Well, folks, it's the next day. Tiffany, how you doing, buddy? I don't see the baby. And mom, I, they might be in the uh, they might be in the barn now. But we're gonna go ahead and check on them. Try not to get attacked here. You just gotta make sure everybody's healthy, alive. We'll give everybody some grain, no. and then we also need to open up the. We'll go right back around, but we forgot to open up the pasture to the big animals last night. Tiffany, what up, buddy? Where's Felicia? Oh, I don't see. Oh, there they are. Hey, buddy. Look at you, Felicia. How's your? Oh, look at the baby, Felicia. What's your baby doing? Hi, buddy. It's okay. It's okay, Felicia. Hi, buddy. Look at the baby. Hi, little dude. What up, buddy? You're alive. That's good. We won't bother you too much. I just want to make sure everybody's alive and well. Okay. Felicia, Tiffany, you guys doing okay? You guys hanging out? Water? Yeah, we could. We could. Yeah, we could put some water in here. I don't know how we're how far that hose goes though. We could try dragging it in here, but this is uh, we can we can take this. Hey, don't hurt me. I'm just gonna grab your water dish, all right? No, it's okay. Hey, oh, little buddy, it's okay. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. We'll fill this up with water as well. We've got the blue one filled up. We'll fill this one up too. That way they've got some in here if this is where they feel most comfortable. But good news, little junior. Hey, we gotta get, we gotta name this guy. So you guys comment down below. Again, 95% sure it's a female. We'll have to double check. I just don't really feel like going up there and checking at this point with Felicia being doing felicia things uh but i'm pretty sure it's a girl so we i mean we name our animals all genders it's 2020 man there's no rules so go ahead and comment down below what do you want to name this little ass right there uh comment down below what you guys want and well we're gonna get this filled with water and then we're gonna go check on the rest of the animals to get them fed and we'll be good to go what the heck happened here why is it soaking wet it's come oh my we've got a problem folks okay so we built that pond for these pigs right and i've got a hose that trickles these are the loudest animals of all time. I have a hose that trickles to fill it. Well, then all of a sudden yesterday or two days ago, this was completely flooded. So I turned the hose off completely and now it's flooded again. So somebody is literally going over to the fire hydrant, the, the not fire hydrant, going over to the well hydrant and turning it on. Somehow they're hitting the little lever because uh, it stays pulled up. It's just like a little switch. So I'm going to get these guys fed and then we're going to go investigate and see if someone turned on the water. All right, here you go, Dale, just for you, buddy. There you go, bony apple feet. Llama, llama, llama. I'm trying to put it in the bin, llama. Llama, hey, we gotta get in the bin. Llama, hey. Felicia, come get some grain, buddy. We'll put it over here, that way, hey. <whistles> Felicia, come here, buddy. <whistles> Felicia, we'll put it over here so you don't have to worry about nobody harassing your little baby. Right here, Bubba. We got two of them. Felicia, right here. Hey, there's one over here, too. Come over here. Come on, don't fight. Hey, don't fight. No, you're gonna kick your baby. Felicia, hey, over here. Come here. Hey. Right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Felicia. Felicia, right here. All right, well, she'll figure it out eventually. Either way, we got them in some great Jamathy. Staying, he's cool. He's staying cool back there. He's in his little hut. It's hotter than heck out here. All right, let's go investigate the freaking water bandit that keeps turning on the hose. I literally turned it off yesterday, completely off. And now we've got the lazy freaking river in the front yard here. So Lucy, Lucy, no. Lucy, no, no, do not dig, no. Oh man, who is doing? Who do you think's doing it? I bet it's one of the sheep or the goats, I guess. Because I think it drips. I think it drips, and so they like try to nudge it a little bit just to get get some water to come out. And I think that's what that, what's happening there. Yep. The 
hose is flowing like Bill Owen. Look at this. We got a freaking river right here. Which, I mean, I don't really care other than it just gets everything freaking muddy for no reason. This thing, does it turn all the way on? So right, yeah, look, 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 there's animal hair. I told you. I don't know. It's long. Long and white. Dude, there's animal hair everywhere. So that's off. That's on. See all the hair? That's where they're, so they come up, they know. Something's figured out where that they hit that down, it turns that on. It's so weird. What, whose hair do you think that is? It's long. I feel like that's gotta be like either llama or a goat maybe. I don't know. But I don't know how to fix it because this one has to stay on in order to stay full. So like, how do you prevent them from that doing that? Take that off and just put this directly on. Yeah, take off the splitter, I guess. We'll try it one more time. Yeah. If they do it again. It then... was empty, so, I mean, they filled it up. Yeah, as long as, I guess, is the hose pointed yeah. in the right direction? I mean, it... Let's see, where's the hose going to? Oh, it's right here. Now that now it'll at least fill on up a little bit more, but yeah, look at it. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but. Well, how's that thing doing? Does it need to be full, filled? Oh, they should be okay then for a little bit. All right, let's open this gate up, let these animals free, and I think we're good. I'm sweating and we ain't done nothing, but it's hot today. It's, it's a toasty one, but you said you saw the baby drinking water too? Uh, it was uh, like putting its nose in it. I don't really? know if it actually got water, but so, they all know where it is. That's good. Felicia yeah, see, drinking a lot. Yeah, Felicia's out there. She's, she's munching on the grain, munching on the grass, drinking, so good to go. Anyways, we're gonna open this up, let everybody out free. Success on the farm, another birth. That's number, let's see, we had boots first, then we had four goats. That would be number, yeah. birth number Number six success so far. You guys have any tips on how to raise a baby donkey? I mean, I think Felicia's got a handle, but let me know. And also, you gotta name this thing. Just come down below. Some names for the little guy. Again, think it's a girl. Not really sure. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, and peace.